guys, welcome back to Zagami Beauty. I'm Krisha. Thanks for joining me today. It's going to be a haul day. And it's slightly different than my usual kind of like more makeup based, skincare based hauls. I still have some makeup and skincare though. <laughs> it's going to be a natural health type haul that I purchased a few things from. It's actually from Optum Health, which is a health food type store. They're not just into health food and supplements, it's actually lots of beauty products, skincare, hair care, some food products in general, and the people are so lovely. So, anyways, before we get into this quick haul, I invite you to subscribe, to like this video, to leave me a comment down below as well. What are some of your go to more clean or natural type beauty or health type products that you like to shop for? All right, you guys, that's it for the intro. Let's get straight into this little. Okay, first things first, let's go over what I actually went in there for before I got sidetracked. First product is some food grade diatomaceous earth. Diato who? <laughs> it's actually fossils that have been found, extracted, ground up to a really, really fine powder. A number of things you can use it for actually, but it's really good for parasites. And I don't know why, but my friend Jolene actually mentioned this to me at work the other day because I just had this urge to go buy some and she's like, every spring you feel like you need to do some sort of like parasite cleanse. And it's true and I don't know if it's just the whole idea of spring cleaning because I've been cleaning my house too in sections like deep cleaning and maybe that's what it is. We had a dog and I would give this to him once in a while instead of using anti-parasite medications which can be quite toxic. And so I would give this to him in his food and because of the exoskeletons that are ground up, essentially they kill the parasites because they sort of of like stab them and just kind of wreck their their shell and essentially it kills them so I've been doing this the last few days where I add a teaspoonful into some water stir it up drink it on an empty stomach in the morning like an hour half an hour before I eat breakfast I'm gonna do this for 10 days straight I'm into about day I think four or five right now and I'm feeling way better the first couple days I'm not gonna lie it just kind of almost felt like I was foggy and I think it was the parasite die off and I don't think I had a ton. It does accumulate over time with foods we eat, stuff like that. And I don't eat a ton of raw food, but it's just, it, it is what it is, right? We all, we all end up having some parasites here and there. So I felt the die off and I was kind of feeling foggy for a couple of days, but it's working and I'm feeling a lot better halfway through. And so I'm going to do this probably maybe as even like a preventative every two weeks where I drink like a teaspoonful in some water and then maybe twice a year do an actual 10 day stretch of it. Be careful because it does tend to dust off. You don't want to breathe it in necessarily, but just take your teaspoonful into a glass of water, stir it up let the, some of the dust flow up and it doesn't taste sandy or overly chalky or anything like that. It's just a slight milky type consistency in the water. Look into it, see if it's appropriate for you. Of course, talk to your pharmacist, naturopath or whatnot, see if it's okay for you. You can also just sprinkle it on top of the soil in your potted plants just to protect against any insects. You can mix this into some and make a little bit of a mask or scrub for the face. It's not overly abrasive, but it would work as more of a physical scrub. Lots of uses for this product and I am going to actually sprinkle it on my plants very very soon. Next thing I went in for was just a repurchase of my vitamin K2. I'll link the video I did on K2 which is my favorite vitamin of all time and it's a little bit of a gush fest that video. It does give you some good information on this particular vitamin so I will link that. All right next product is actually some kelp. I didn't really need any more but I was already there so I just picked some up because I saw it kind of in my travels in the store. I started using it to detoxify my pineal gland or decalcify it. But we used to have fluoride in our water here and I feel like we don't at the moment only because they're working on the treatment plant so they haven't been adding it. I've been drinking non-fluorinated water anyway separate to that because I just don't trust our tap water not having fluoride and I don't want fluoride. I don't use fluoride in my toothpaste. I don't want it in my water. I will do a full video on that actually. The link to pineal gland and thyroid health when it comes to fluoride. But for now just letting you know I bought some more kelp which I really really enjoy using. All right, moving on to some skincare cosmetic type goodies because I couldn't resist. Who are we kidding? It's always about the makeup, isn't it? I needed some more Epsom salts, and so I purchased these from Nature's Essential Garden, made here in Canada. I believe they're actually made in Alberta. This one is supposed to be a cleanse. The sea salt and sea minerals, sodium bicarbonate, pure oils of ginger, juniper berry, some ginger powder, and green clay. It's supposed to be more cleansing or detoxifying. I just love the scent because it is so fresh, soothing, natural smelling. Oh, the juniper is so pretty in here, but the ginger is so zesty and 
it just creates one of the most beautiful experiences in the tub. I veer away from bubble baths nowadays. I just find the fragrances to be too much, like just too almost artificial, and I feel like there's not usually a ton of benefit from them. So I love taking baths, and I just feel like Epsom salts with essential oils just works for me a little bit better. It just feels a little bit more natural. And kind of just pseudo meditate when you're in the tub it's just such a wonderful experience so I couldn't resist that I think I'm gonna try some of the other ones too because I'm really really enjoying enjoying the scent of this one and then I was on a mission to replace my beloved herbivore pink cloud moisturizer I found out that this moisturizer was actually pulled from the shelves by the brand due to some signs of mold growing in it. I've never personally experienced that and I've been using this cream for at least three if not four years now. It comes with a little spatula and I feel that if a product comes with a spatula, use the spatula. It doesn't have a ton of preservatives in it and so I guess maybe it was showing signs of mold but I don't think it would do that unless you were dipping in there and double dipping or something like that. In the pharmacy we dispense some organic type topicals for for cream we get them compounded and so those do have an expiry on them because if we are using like our you know fingers and stuff that aren't necessarily clean it can grow grow mold you know what I mean so I always suggest people use a clean spatula to scoop out their product when I dispense it or give it out and I think it's the same thing for a lot of these clean beauty brands I think we should be using a clean spatula to scoop it out because the whole purpose of it being clean is that it doesn't have a ton of preservatives parabens BHT they are reformulating it I did post a little story my sadness of running out yesterday and I got a response that it's coming soon. But enough of that, we need a replacement here soon. I asked the associate at the store to kind of give me a hand. She was so helpful, it's unbelievable. Like she looked up the ingredients of Pink Cloud and she looked up ingredients of two creams she thought were similar and then I decided to try both. One of them is the Living Libations and this is the Rose Glow Cream. Living Libations is a very small batch brand, very essential oil heavy, definitely clean. However, it does have a lot of essential oils in it. It just has that particular smell and I don't usually mind it, but in this one, the rose is sort of overpowered by so many other essential oils. I did try it last night and it's not overly moisturizing and I don't get a glow from this. It does leave sort of that really, really soft velvety finish on the skin. However, I don't think I would repurchase and I'm not really too sure if I would recommend it because I personally love a really, really dewy finish. It wasn't enough moisture for me and the scent was just a little bit too much. I, I don't know, I'm not a fan. However, <laughs> I purchased another product and this is from Ohm. Very, very small brand out of Invermere, BC. So this is the Ohm Organics Apothecary Coconut Dew Hyaluronic Moisture Cream. Some really good ingredients, you guys. Marula kernel oil, aloe leaf juice, rose flower water, coconut water, salicylic acid, glycerin, and then one ingredient that I'm a little bit iffy on, it does have a little bit of coconut oil sort of midway in into the ingredients list. Coconut oil isn't the best for my skin and I tend to avoid it so we'll see I have used it like I said once and it feels very very fresh on the skin it's lightweight yet it still has that glow effect and I think it's due to the marula oil marula oil tends to be a lighter oil but still of course going to give you that glow I'm actually really enjoying it so fingers crossed it doesn't break me out and it's a good replacement for the pink cloud we'll see I have high hopes right. last product you guys makeup I love Jane Iredell this is the Rose Dawn bronzer and it isn't really a bronzer to me I feel like it's almost more of a blush or blush topper so it comes as a refill and then I have a compact from the powder that I used to use so I'll just kind of click it in there and you have to buy this separately which is the unfortunate part because this is already I think $50 Canadian and then we have the reusable compact which is really high quality that you have to buy separately this is how it comes just as a refill and I love Jane Iredell because it's usually made talc free it has just such a reflective natural quality to it and I just couldn't resist this color let me actually try some on you guys I hope it can pick it up but it just added that like instant pop of slightly bronzy sheen effect so pretty it reminds me of Rayo from Natasha Denona Maybe just a little bit more bronzy because it does have some of those more bronze tones in it. 
Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I just want to keep putting more on. Okay, let's stop. Yo, I hope you enjoyed this little mini clean beauty, natural health food type store haul. And let me know down below if you're interested in seeing that video on the pineal gland as well as decalcifying it, the importance of it, and so forth. I think I'm gonna do it anyways, but it might just depend on how quick I do it. So let me know down below how interested you are in seeing that. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, you guys. Bye.